Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. So in this session of chemistry, we shall see the topic called chemical reactions and equations. Are you ready? Yes. So moving on to chemical reactions and equations. So chemical reaction has taken place means the following features may be observed. Any one of the feature or all of the features can be observed. Change in state that is solid to liquid, liquid to gas or gas to liquid or gas to solid or solid to gas like that the change of state may be observed and change in color then evolution of gas change in temperature sound so all these may be a heard or only one of these may be heard then it is called as chemical reaction in a chemical reaction new substance will be formed always a physical change involves no new substance formation okay a chemical equation can be written whenever there is a chemical reaction so magnesium ribbon is burnt in the form of presence of oxygen it gets converted into magnesium oxide MgO2 gives 2MgO we can balance this 2Mg plus O2 gives 2MgO okay moving on to balanced chemical equations as I have already told you mass and energy can be neither created nor destroyed so total mass of the elements present on the products has to be equal to the on the reactant side so these are called reactants on to the left hand side on to the right hand we have the products okay single zn single zn two hydrogens two hydrogens one sulfur one sulfur four oxygen this is a famous reaction for photosynthesis okay it should be 6o2 okay carbon dioxide reacts with water to form glucose oxygen and water in the presence of sunlight and water the famous balanced chemical equations okay next types of chemical reactions first is combination reaction next decomposition reaction next displacement reactions next double displacement reactions next oxidation and reduction reactions the first is combination reactions in which two or more substances combine to form a single substance as the name says combine Minimum two elements must combine to form a single element. Hydrogen, oxygen, water, carbon monoxide, oxygen and carbon dioxide. It forms carbon dioxide. This is a simple combination reaction. Next, the opposite to combination reaction is decomposition reaction. So here, single compound splits into two or more simpler substances. Uh, these are carried out by applying heat, light or electricity. Calcium carbide gives away calcium oxide and carbon dioxide in the form of heat. Okay, whenever there is heat applied, this is disintegrated into these two forms. Okay, next is displacement reactions. So, as the name says, displacement. One element takes place of another element in a compound is called as displacement. Here you can see chlorine is replaced by sulfur. Okay. That means we can say generally the sodium has taken the place of hydrogen and hydrogen has taken the place of sodium. This is called single displacement. Okay. This is called single displacement reaction. We have double displacement reactions also in which two compounds exchange of ions takes place and new compounds will be formed. Okay. Barium chloride with sodium sulfate gives barium sulfate and sodium chloride okay this is a double displacement reaction here two displacements will take place so that there is double displacement okay so and the last reactions are oxidation and reduction reactions what do you mean by oxidation as the name says addition of oxygen is oxidation that means removal of hydrogen or removal of hydrogen is oxidation so simply how to remember oxidation means oxygen is added that means hydrogen is removed if I subtract oxygen it is called reduction that means I am adding hydrogen so oxidation means adding oxygen or removal of hydrogen reduction means removal of oxygen or addition of hydrogen so now we shall see the basic oxidation and reduction reaction so we have two reactions here so if both oxidation and reduction takes place in a single equation 
it is called as redox reaction okay here you can say as oxygen is lost it is called reduction reaction here the oxygen is gained it is called oxidation reaction same here reduction oxidation okay clear with this here reduction here oxidation okay so if it is oxidation and reduction in single reaction it is called redox reaction next effect of oxidation reactions in everyday life so first we have damaging effects of oxidation in our daily life the first is corrosion of metals and spoilage of food the first is corrosion of metals generally we see our bicycle tires get rusted easily so that is called corrosion so whenever there is oxygen and moisture so the oxidation of the metals takes place iron reacts with oxygen to form iron oxide so then it is it gets corroded okay this is the basic form of oxidation where our corrosion of metals takes place and metals are damaged we can prevent this corrosion by coating with zinc like galvanizing of iron zinc coating of iron is called galvanizing of iron or using stainless steel electro electroplating methods all these prevent corrosion of metals next damage caused to our life is rancidity what do you mean by rancidity fats and oils present in food materials get oxidized by the oxygen in the presence of air and give unpleasant smell and taste so generally our foods have uh, fats and oils so they get damaged because of the oxidation so this can be prevented or retarded it is slowed down so how can we prevent this by adding two antioxidants generally namely butylated hydroxyanisole or butylated hydroxy toluene these are the common two antioxidants added to prevent rancidity in foods and we can also prevent by packaging the foods containing nitrogen gas generally we see potato chips snacks all these are packed in in the plastic packets along with nitrogen gas filled we feel that it is totally filled whenever you open the packet the gas escapes right so that prevents rancidity that is oxidation of food so that food will not be spoiled and we can also prevent by keeping the food in refrigerator storing food in airtight containers and also storing the food away from light so these are some of the effects of oxidation the first is corrosion of metals and second is the rancidity that is spoiling of food so hope you have learned enough things about chemical reactions and equations We shall meet in the next sessions. Thank you so much.